The Ramones with Joey, punk rock's most famous sufferer of OCD. More medical issues endured by rock stars coming up next, starting with one of Kurt Cobain's problems. More of the secret history of rock coming up. Let's get back to the secret history of rock with Alan Cross. We're spending some time taking a look at health issues faced by various rock stars. And we're not doing this in any sort of voyeuristic way. Instead, we're trying to see if these medical situations informed and influenced their music in any way. Now, I don't think there's any doubt that Nirvana wouldn't have been what they were had Kurt Cobain been well-adjusted and healthy. He was able to tap into that genuine pain and anguish for his music, which is what made it so powerful. Kurt's most famous medical problem, aside from his drug addictions, was his stomach. For years, he suffered from terrible chronic stomach pains that were never properly diagnosed, let alone treated. One guessed that it had to do with a pinched nerve in his back. Kurt did suffer from scoliosis, a curvature of the spine as a child, and it's possible that the pain originated there. Whatever the case, part of the reason he ended up taking so many drugs, especially near the end, was because of the pain. Kurt also suffered from chronic bronchitis, which didn't help his situation. It's also speculated that Kurt was bipolar. Those who knew him say he exhibited many of the signs of manic depression throughout his life. His cousin, Beverly Cobain, who was a nurse with some experience within the mental health field, wrote a book called When Nothing Matters, A Survival Guide for Depressed Teens. In an interview, she said, Kurt was diagnosed at a young age with ADD and then later with bipolar disorder. As Kurt undoubtedly knew, bipolar illness can be very, very difficult to manage and the correct diagnosis is crucial. Unfortunately for Kurt, compliance with the appropriate treatment is also a critical factor. Obviously, though, that diagnosis and that treatment, if it existed, wasn't enough. 